today we'll be playing the body VR. We're gonna be playing this demo. It seems like a lot of different things are sharing this. It's the, like one of the newest things out. Okay, um, so what this game is, is if you remember the lab that we, stop doing that. If you remember the lab, it was called, um, we did like the human body scan. And they had some other stuff like in cell VR, I think is what that one was called. Um, out of mind, so different different demos and things like that. Well, this one is supposed to be like super in depth, um, and so we're just gonna go get into it. And so we're looking at this. One time. Oh, okay. So this is this total thing is gonna take 11 minutes to go through, and we're gonna figure out, and we're gonna be the learning today. Journey begins here, inside a blood vessel carrying blood from the heart. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> so, are we gonna ride like the, the time machine VR machine? <laughs> oh, good. Oh. I guess we need to go this way? We are currently inside an arterial. A small strand in a network of blood vessels that spread throughout the body. I feel like we're on the magic school bus. Let's take a look at the blood's most prominent blood cell. blood cells. The red blood cell. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, take this up is a little of I feel like blood's I'm drunk. total volume, oh, giving a red color to our blood. Their main function is to transfer oxygen from our lungs to vital parts of our body. Without you guys, I would die. Actually, this whole thing would be, without you, I would not be alive. Whoa. It's like a highway. Next up are white blood cells, or leukocytes, which take up less than 1% of the blood's total volume. Whoa, Their less than 1%? function is to protect our body from infection. I would think the blood count would be much higher than that for white blood cells, because I'm pretty, isn't the white blood cells the ones that you, you heal yourself? Let's examine they fight infection or thrombocytes, like whose main function is to stop bleeding at the site of a damaged blood vessel. Oh, that didn't know, I didn't know they did. They, we had another blood cell that did that. On our right, you can see a tear in the blood vessel. Let's investigate. I was like, uh, I don't see anything, but it's up here. Lord, my heartbeat is super loud. So we have a tear in the blood system. Blood. A type oh. of leukocyte, the monocytes, creep through blood vessels to become macrophages and search for foreign invaders. You're using to eat too many and big digest. words. Let's leave the bloodstream through the tear to find a macrophage. We must now undergo further miniaturization. Oh, we're gonna get smaller! Oh my gosh. Whoa! What? We are currently on the outside of the macrophage, within an infected tissue, looking at its surface. A typical a cell bacteria. membrane structure. There are thousands of receptor proteins on the surface of the cell. Some of these proteins are tasked with transferring information and others with transferring cargo. Water and oxygen pass freely through they the cell. They all look like horses. At least that one does. <laughs> He's kind of going backwards. Water and oxygen. Larger molecules, like this. glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. Is that what's happening right there? Large objects, like viruses, require recognition or keys to gain access, thus preventing unauthorized entry. Oh, I can like hit it and touch it and stuff. Fortunately, I have a counterfeit key that's identical to a real one. We are now entering the cell. We're going even smaller, guys!
I feel like I'm in space. A macro I'm glad to give you this because it feels like you're actually standing on something. We are something. submerged in the cytoplasm, the cytoplasm. A gel made mostly of water. Water. I love the, the cytoskeleton is made up of a network of adjustable strands that gives the cell its structure. It's there so are cool. three different types of strands that make up the cytoskeleton. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand measuring only 7 nanometers in diameter. <laughs> 7 millimeters? Intermediate filaments are made of the protein actin and have a one. diameter of 10 nanometers. <laughs> I want to like grab it, but it's not really going to grab it. Oh wait, action? Lastly, <laughs> microtubules have a diameter of 24 nanometers which is wide enough to be used for transport. What does that do? <laughs> so what is this? Oh, it's this thing. What are you doing? Get off A special of type of protein called Kinzin motor protein has the ability to walk along microtubules. Oh my gosh! It latches onto larger structures and transports them around the cell. Energy is available in the cytoplasm in the form of ATP molecules. ATP binds with kinesin and propels it forward. <laughs> you can't control it with you each step the kinesin takes, it binds with an ATP molecule and releases an ADP molecule. It builds up over my kinesin walks up to 100 steps per second. 100 steps per second. The kinesin protein is, is heading straight for the well, cell's nucleus. Let's tag along for a ride. This guy is super strong. He is pulling us along. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little kid. We are now approaching the nucleus, the center of the cell. Guys, we're going to meet the, the brain. The surface of the nucleus has its own membrane, similar to that of the cell. This is like so detailed. I feel like it's like stand and head in. Pores are spread around the surface of the nucleus to allow entry and exit of larger molecules. I don't know what to say. It's so much to take in. are located around the edge glitch. to facilitate the transport. So small because this is the body VR. Let's head inside. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> Bye, thanks for the ride. Dude, what's crazy about yeah, this is someone had to the imagine nucleus. this. The control center. They of the got cell. to the nucleus and they're Take like, let's the build it out of licorice. Of the cell's DNA. This power. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is yeah, a molecule that carries our genetic code. Mine's bigger. The DNA contains instructions for protein synthesis. Does it match like that? Oh. Maybe. In the process that. of transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into right. RNA, or ribonucleic acid, containing a single recipe for protein creation. What is that? I feel like we just skipped over the big core piece. 
Oh, we're leaving. Let's exit the nucleus through a nuclear pore. A nuclear pore? See, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know what to talk about because it it's all. We stuff have exited the nucleus so and are now cool. floating through the cytoplasm. Oh, Ramazon! Surrounding the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER. Excuse me! No, wait, are those the Ramazons? That is in the cell somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> my, my high school biology is Studied with ribosomes. Ha! The <laughs> ribosomes! Maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. I was just ahead of my time. Ribosomes link together amino and acids. Those? Following the instructions received from the RNA. Are mitochondria? No, that's for grass. The protein is then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. The powerhouse of the In cell. In the distance, you can see a mitochondria. Ha! It was a mitochondria! Ha! I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. Mitochondria are free-floating organelles. I have to build one of these. Typically referred like to grade. as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria received its name due to their vital role in ATP generation. I'm not as... ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the main source of energy within the cell. This is weird. Mitochondria take the pyruvate and convert it into carbon dioxide and water, releasing ATP in the process. And water and ATP. Now that we have seen process. the major components it's like a of the crazy cell, maze. let's make our way outside. Oh, we're speeding up. I know what these things are called. I don't remember. These are... What is that? These are like chromosomes. Is this infection? He said, what is that? If he doesn't know, we're screwed. There's an incoming virus attack. Oh, for the what? Set. Oh! Oh, freak! Oh! <laughs> A cloud of antibodies is stationed around the cell to protect it from viruses. Guys, stand strong! The white blood cells consume the viruses as they are highlighted by the antibodies. Whoa! Fresh in my face! Together, the antibodies and white blood oh, cells are antibodies. On the front line of our immune system. These guys don't make it, we're screwed. I want to see what be like. Be like bust Thousands through. of viruses have made it past the antibodies. The viruses overcome the defenses, and some viruses are able to enter the cell using counterfeit keys. Don't let them break through. There are too many viruses. It looks like the cell is not going to survive. Yes, Let's yes. Let's get back to the observatory. Please break through. Please. I think it would be awesome. That completes our journey through the human body. What? I hope you enjoyed the tour. You can't cut me off. You start to show a violent attack. And then you're just going to leave? No. Hello. <laughs> And welcome to the Body VR, an immersive tour through the human body. Is that it? I've been here before. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. We got to go through the blood vessel. Then we went in through a tear, which is where we then visited a cell. Got to see the ribosomes, the nucleus, the outer wall as we, that guy pulled us along. We were in the cell membrane. And then between the sub membrane and the blood vessel, like that's that's the size of your app. But that was really, the best part of that was the band. I wanted to be like, like it to just like bust through or whatever, and it just keep going. But that has been the body VR. If I'm getting out of my courts, 
But my name is Shane for Games, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. And as always, keep on playing.